What's up there everyone? Welcome to another YouTube... What's up everyone? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. In this video here, I want to talk and share with you how I earn 6,000 euros on passive income. Now, before we dive into the video, right? Before we dive into how I earn uh, that amount of money on passive income, there are quite some videos on how to earn passive income. Some are, you know, share true things and many share things that are not true. With this video here, uh, my intent and my aim is to, to show you how I earn a passive income, to show my portfolio because uh, it's multiple ways on how I earn passive income. But I also want to make this an educational video where I also want to explode some myths about passive income because there's quite a lot and I'm quite frustrated to be honest uh, when people talk about passive income and many times it's a lot of things they say that aren't true and I want to explode them here uh, to you. And then I also want to share actually, uh, but that's going to be more on the last bit of this video, how you can create systems and ways to keep a product or a service actually generating passive income. Now, if there's anything else that I think of when I'm editing the video, you know, or when I'm uploading it here on YouTube that I think could be very helpful to you or useful on the topic of passive income, I will link that all down below in the description of this video. So definitely have a look at the description of this video as there will be additional helpful resources and anything else that I will mention can all be found down below in the description. Now. Let me start first off by three things that I wanna, wanna cover. I don't earn passive income just because it's a trendy thing or just because I can go and lay on the beach and do nothing, because that's not true. That's a myth as well that I'm gonna talk about in a second. What I would suggest to you is don't merely earn passive income just because it's passive income. It just happened to be, in my case, that what I do and what I like to do happen to generate passive income. But don't do it to, to, main, to, to, to get a lifestyle or something. I'm not saying that having passive income in your business or in your life isn't a helpful thing because it can work on its own, partly, of course. Don't make the goal to have passive income alone. Make the goal something higher, something, you know, to help people, to, to, to make the world better, to make someone's life better. Make that the goal instead of the passive income. I don't think you're gonna create something good if that alone is, is your goal. And that's what I wanna, wanna say here with this first point. Don't make the goal passive income. Make the goal creating an amazing product or service to better the world or to better someone's life. The second point that I want to share here is nothing is ever truly passive because a lot of people think they create something and then it's out there and then it just, you know, works on its own and you never have to do anything about that. And you can just lay on the beach and do nothing for your whole life. In part, it is true and in part, it is not true. Okay. And let me explain. First of all, you you have to create something, right? So that's quite active. One of the things in my portfolio, which we're gonna dive into just in a, in a minute, is online courses. I create online courses. I create a lot of online courses with myself and with other people. Creating an online course, you know, the creating of it takes literally about four to six months for one course, right? But they're extremely high of quality, the content is rich, it's, you know, it's a great course. They, they're great courses, all of them. It takes time to create that, right? So that's four to six months that I'm actively working on producing, on creating it, on recording it, on writing it out, on editing it. That's what you gotta understand. Nothing is ever truly passive. You first have to create it. You first have to create a product or the service, put it online and then create funnels. So there's actually, people coming to the product or to the service uh, and then you have to maintain it. But of course, I could take, you know, a month for sure or three months, I could, I could take offline. I could just go away and the same amount of income would come through. So I could 100% do that. If I would do it for a year, 
uh, and I wouldn't, you know, answer questions to students, wouldn't give out updates to the course, wouldn't maintain just the course. Uh, I would still earn money, but it would definitely lower. Uh, and if I would just, you know, keep it on and not do anything anymore for years, then at some point it's definitely not going to be a lot of money anymore. Uh, so you got to understand that, that when you, you want to create something passive, it's not going to be completely passive. You still have to actively work on it too. And that's why I said the first part, that, that's why you, having passive income as the goal itself, I would never do that because then you're also not going to be willing to maintain uh, what you created. The last part here that I want to share that I think is really important and it's also a myth and you see it in so many ads on YouTube or wherever where they're trying to sell you some kind of secrets and I just want to tell you the secrets here there is no secrets okay like the, the big secret you could say is that you have to work like you have to put time and effort into creating a good service and a good product that people that people care to buy right you could say that's the secret like there really isn't much of a secret actually to all of this it's just all to do with putting in a lot of work a lot of effort and creating really a great service or product with the best intent for your customers that helps to better the world or helps to better their life if you're watching this thinking that i'm gonna share with you some some secret or or or, or some quick hack or or something to just quickly earn money this is not the right video for you and to be honest if that's your intent yeah th there is i i'm not a fan of that intent to be honest i'm a fan of of anyone watching here wanting to create great product or service this is definitely your video then but i'm not a fan of that because first of all it's a scheme there is no such thing so if you are watching this video because you are you thought there was gonna be some quick hack or secret that I wanted to share that you could earn some quick money with. Be very careful because there is no such thing. And what I just said there, you know, what the secrets are, hard work, creating a great product or service. That's the only secrets, okay? That's the only secret that there is. But if you do want to generally know how it's done, then please continue watching this video. Let's uh, go into the rest of this video where I actually want to walk you through my portfolio. Here is um, my portfolio. Now, this portfolio basically consists out of the IPS project. So that's the uh, platform that I founded, which is an educational platform on life. And Yell is fast. Like my personal YouTube channel, for example, is uh, in my portfolio. Also one way how I earn money. So that's where that comes down to right and when i go through the portfolio you will understand more the biggest one here that you see is online courses right 50 percent of my income so it's about two thousand to three thousand euros uh i earn from online courses now those courses are at the moment placed at marketplaces like uh udemy skillshare and uh, skill success. So those three, Udemy, Skillshare, and skill success, those two uh, or those three together, I earn about yeah 50%, uh, 2,000 to 3,000 euros every month from. Then another way how I earn passive income is actually renting out my van. Uh, and so online courses are from the IPS project. The van is from Yelisvas. So the first bit that I was saying there, I have a van uh, where I basically live in, uh, but uh, many times I don't use it. And uh, I actually rent it out on a platform called Gobuni, uh, I think they're worldwide. And you can basically see it as the Airbnb for camper vans. So you could put your van on there and people uh, can rent it. And obviously, you know, this portfolio that you're seeing now and these numbers, you know, the percentage and the amount of money, it it will shift. It's not exactly always like that, right? Because courses tend to sell way better in the winter. Now it's different because of the coronavirus, because so, now it's summer. Uh, now they're selling like crazy just because of that reason. And my van tells, tends to sell better 
uh, in the summer, right? Which makes sense. More people go on vacation then, uh, less in, in the winter. So, you know, the percentage of them uh, will vary depending on the season. But in general, this is the average, this is the, the general percentage that I was able to put on it that mostly it's like that. So this is a great way. Many people have a car or a van or, or yeah, uh, just an extra room that they could actually rent out and uh, earn a passive amount of income from. Now, it, this is not 100% passive income. Uh, but like I already explained, nothing is completely passive. But the ad advertisement is on the platform. The platform attracts customers to me. I basically don't have to do anything on that now. Okay, and once once someone rents it, I have everything already set. Uh, you know, the email that I'm sending out to them with all the information. And then when people actually come to pick up the van, I have someone who actually gives out the key. Uh, it gives a little bit of a tour. And I made a actual uh, book with any other additional information. So if there's anything that, that that person missed or when I'm doing the tour and I missed that, uh, there's a book that I created that has all the information in there as well. So you can, you can create something in a more of a passive way. And this is, like I said, not completely passive, but not completely active either, because this is already out there and it's generating customers to me or people who want to rent it and it's doing its thing. Then YouTube, uh, I mean, this is, you know, from my personal channel, but then also from the channel from the IPS project. Uh, it's something that I'm putting much more time in uh, right now. That's something I want to grow out much more just because I like YouTube a lot. I like to create videos. And the way how you can actually earn passive income from YouTube is at a certain point when you have about 1000 subscribers and X amount of views on your videos, YouTube runs ads like you are probably aware of. <laughs> Uh, on your videos. That's one way. But then there's also sponsors that you can work with, but then also referrals. So referral programs. That's actually how with YouTube, uh, you can earn money from ads, sponsors and referrals. Or of course, you can also mention uh, a product or a service. Uh, that's also a way. Uh, so a product or a service that you have you know, when I talk about a course or something that I have and it's in the description, you know, that leads to sales, right? Uh, so that's how you can use YouTube as well as a way, as a funnel actually with referrals. So I'm a teacher on Skillshare, like I said here. And if you go to the description of this video or if you check on the top comment that I made, that's where I actually often uh, ref uh, offer the referral from Skillshare that where I, as a teacher can actually provide two months for free for people who enroll. And when someone enrolls for two months, I get $10. Don't promote something like think about your viewers, think about your audience, promote something, uh, put out something in your video that actually that you believe in. Uh, I'm myself am a user of Skillshare. I follow courses on there. I'm a teacher on there. I strongly believe in them. They're great. It's something that I that I want to put out and want to give out to to my audience, to my viewers, and uh, that I that I believe in myself. So this referral you can find in the description and uh, in the top comments in basically all my my videos on my personal channel, and this often yeah leads to uh, people enrolling and to uh, sales for me. So that's one way. Sponsors works basically the same if you have a sponsor like Squarespace is for example one that you often see uh, where they mention that. And then through a link, uh, it's a bit like a referral. Yeah, uh, it's kind of similar. So that's how YouTube can become a passive source of income. Once it's created, once it's out there, it works, it lives on its own. The other bit here in my portfolio is t-shirts. So these are t-shirts uh, created with, from for the IPS project. Uh, basically, yeah, they're high quality t-shirts. Uh, with a cool design, a cool message uh, when people buy it. Uh, actually, they can choose the foundation or the project that they want to donate money to. So part of the money actually goes to something that the customer actually wants to give money to. So, you know, it's it's t-shirts that actually change the world, uh, which I'm quite proud of. Um, and they generate sales through the websites of the IPS project, but then also on the podcasts. Uh, so the podcast, the IPS podcast, uh, I have an ad where I talk about t-shirts. So that drives sales. And then also on YouTube, 
it also drives sales through YouTube, through videos uh, on the IPS project on that channel. But so you, yeah, you could create a physical product and actually create it into a passive uh, income source as well, because the t-shirts are in a warehouse somewhere else. And when an order comes in, the order directly goes to the warehouse and they just do the shipping and, and you know, they create a t-shirt. So I basically don't have to do anything besides accept the order uh, and that's it. Amazon affiliates, this just generates like 1% of income. It's not huge. Probably will still expand on that a bit. So on the websites of the IPS project and on my personal uh, websites, you know, there's a blog. Uh, and when I talk about a book, you can use um, an affiliate program like Amazon and actually link that book to Amazon. And when someone buys that book, you get a percentage of of the income from that. Uh, so yeah, that's, you can use that on your websites. I have it mainly on my websites, maybe in some YouTube videos, uh, it's on there as well, but primarily it's on the website of the IPS project and on Yelly's Fast, that's generating some income, but it's not huge. I also didn't put much time uh, on, on further building that out, uh, which is something in the future that I will. So, but that's also a way how you can create passive income. And that's, you see this a lot with blocks uh, that they have, yeah, product link to Amazon. And uh, that's where they get uh, some passive income from. Then another one is photos and videos. So this is stock photos and videos. And this is again with Yelly's Fast, nothing to do with the IPS project. It used to be very much into photography and videography. Still am quite into that, uh, but used to do that professionally uh, when I was still building everything out with the IPS project that was sort of my income. And I also have uh, courses on photography. So, you know, the courses and the photos and videos on stock websites sort of earned me money back then, but it's still earning me money. And uh, it's on stock websites <coughs> as Shutterstock. Those are the top three that for me generate money from my photos and videos. Uh, but it's, yeah, about 5%. Uh, it also depends on the season again. In some seasons I, yeah, sell better or on the holiday. So it's not always 5%. Sometimes it's more like 10 or, or even 20. And whenever I go on a trip, naturally we'll take photos and videos and I still upload them. So my portfolio on Shutterstock, on Getty Images is still growing and generating more and more revenue. Uh, the, yeah, the more it's growing. This is how I earn, this is my portfolio, how I earn passive income, right? And as you can see, it's made out of more than one thing. And the reason why uh, it's also good to have more than one stream of passive income, not just alone online courses, not alone just my van, not just alone YouTube. The reason why it's good to have multiple ones is because, and now it's a great example actually, COVID-19. If my van, for example, would only be the source of passive income, now people can go on holidays. I will be earning nothing, you know? I will be earning nothing. If that will be the only 100%, you know, and you see this now in quite a lot of companies and in a lot of businesses that they, their primary source of income, that they only have one or mainly one, and that that's just going away now because of COVID-19 and they're having no revenue coming uh, anymore. And if you could, like you can see here, because this literally is what happened now, uh, I haven't earned uh, right now from my van, even though it was normally booked uh, for this month. Uh, next month and the past month, but those have been moved to another date. Having multiple sources of income, it isn't such a big thing because I still have revenue come in. And now with COVID-19, online courses are actually more than 50%. They're more like 70% to be honest, because uh, so many people are online. So it's not a big thing because I still have other streams of revenue come in. And this is a very basic strategy or tactic in business to not put all your eggs in one basket. Because if you do and you drop the basket, all your eggs are gone. And even going more in depth, this is why it's also good to not have all your eggs in on, on one marketplace, for example, here. So that's why I also have my courses not just alone on Udemy, but also on Skillshare and on Skill Success. Because if for some reason, Udemy all of a sudden disappears or if they kick me out of the marketplace could happen, right? Or if they would just, yeah, disappear. My courses are still on other 
uh, hold on, I spit it there. My courses are still on other marketplaces. That strategy is so fundamental because events like COVID-19 will come to happen again. And this is why it's also so critical to not just merely have passive income, but also a stream of active income. And also why it's not alone, to not alone have active income, but also passive income to, to, to use the both worlds because one of them can be shaken through some major events like COVID-19. So this is my portfolio. So you've heard me use the word funnel now a few times in this video, but I haven't explained exactly what it is and how it works. And it's quite simple. So let me explain through an example. The online courses that I created myself and together with other instructors for the IPS project. So we have an academy there on the IPS podcast, right? I run in the beginning an ad that talks about the academy, uh, what it is, who it is for. And then I mention a link that leaves, leads them to the academy where they can then buy the courses. So that link right here is a funnel and that then in turn leads to sales. That's basically how true the podcast here in this case, how my podcast generates sales to my courses by creating a funnel. And that funnel is an ad about the academy where there's a link and that link, I, I say the link in the ad, right? Uh, but then also in the description of the podcast, you can find that link as well. And yeah, every month this funnel leads to a whole bunch of sales to my courses. So that's one example of how a funnel works. And you can create funnels in so many ways. Uh, it's basically by dropping a link that leads to your product or to your service. And best is to have it create, to have one, to have a funnel that lives on its own. Uh, and it's the same with YouTube. If you talk in a video about photography and you have a photography course, like I do, uh, you can actually mention that course, put it in the description, the link, and that is their funnel. So it lives on its own and people are interested to go even deeper or learn even more or, or are just interested in the product or in the service that you mentioned, will click on that and will lead to sales and that's, that's a funnel. So basically a funnel is a link that you put into a piece of content that leads to a product or a service. That's what a funnel is and the best kind of funnels that you can create is uh, content that lives on its own like a podcast episode. YouTube videos or blog articles. Now, like I said, these are the call systems, your product and service and the content that you create. You know, there has to be a heart and a soul in there. Um, that's my firm's belief. Uh, and just even if you think about long-term thinking and short-term thinking, if what you create and offer is not good, it will not lead to many sales. It will not lead to much good uh, in the long run either. So that's all that I actually wanted to talk put out here in this video. Now, this video was not an intent to go through all the ways that you can earn passive income. There's way more than this, but these are definitely a few big ones. To be honest, like online courses is a very easy and accessible way to actually start generating passive income. Now, here's also an, an actual example in this video because I have created an cor a course on online course creation just because it was the byproduct of having so much experience from online course creation. If you look at all my courses, you know, many of my courses have been highest rated. Many people are actually interested in online course creation. I will link in the description a link to that course. And like I said, this is a great example of having a funnel actually here in this video. Uh, but like I said, the intent, the honest intent with that course was to generally help people from zero to 100%. I go through everything from three years of experience in course creation and just put out everything that I know. So the intent, like the con like the course itself, the product is created with the best intent. And me dropping this here, this funnel, this, you know, giving you that link, mentioning this, it's with my best interest to whoever is interested, right? I'm not pushing you to buy it, totally up to you. But if you are looking for more answers on online course creation or how, you know, and actually create a, a stream of revenue, this is how I can generally help you. Uh, with that. So that's what I said, whatever you put out into your video, put it out with the best intent for your viewers or your listeners or readers. With that, I truly hope this video was helpful to you and be sure, like I said in the beginning, to check out the description of this video as any other helpful resources that I think of 
will be down below there in the description. And if you have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment. I happily answer as many as I can. And if you liked this video, then uh, yeah, also be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day and I hope to see you on another video soon. All right.